Hey, what's up all you beautiful people? Alright, so I just got back from Spain. I saw my lady girl there. It was a lot of fun. I am going to go for a run now because <laughs> when you go to a different country, uh, like myself, I eat a lot of bad food. Sorry, I'm fixing the camera. And I have this like thing where I try to eat McDonald's in every country I've been to. And I've been successful for the most part. I've missed... I did miss Belgium. I'm not gonna lie to you. So at some point in my life, I do have to go back to Belgium and eat fast food. That's my that's my shtick. Anyways, uh, Spain, uh, McDonald's, very good. A1 in my opinion. All right, so I'm <laughs> and yeah, and I was eating all the candies. Like, come on, it's my job. I, I'm a I'm a reviewer of food, of course. So anyways, I'm gonna hit a run, probably five miles. Uh, I'm feeling really good. We'll go farther, but we'll see how it goes because I just want to I just want to feel like I'm doing something about me eating so poopy. All right. I'll see you at the end. All right. So there we are five miles in 51 minutes and 14 seconds. All right, guys. So what's up? As you can tell, my literally just my hair is like stuck in this way. So it's funny. All right. Anyways, great workout. Um, today, you know, I started to realize more and more how I need to start stretching, man. Stretching would be so important in my runs because I feel like my calves really start locking up. Uh, it might have been just because I wasn't warming up because usually when I do my runs, it's after uh, after I work out. So I'm already like warmed up. I've already taken the time to or taking the time to go hit a muscle group and also warm up before I hit the muscle group. So that might be a reason why. But yeah, I definitely think I need to stretch tonight. So that was awesome. Great workout. Uh, did it in almost like, it was like a 10 minute per mile pace. And that's kind of the goal I want to set for the marathon. I haven't really talked about the pacing I want to do the marathon in. But I'm thinking right now that I want to do my average mile pace around 11 minutes. That would be pretty cool for me. I'd be really happy with that. But I think we can even get it down even lower. So maybe even like 10.30, maybe even 10 for my first marathon, which would be dope. And I don't want to just do one. Uh, right now, but those are dreams for uh, later. Uh, so that's cool. Also, quick update about uh, me climbing Mount Calm. I don't have the water bottle on me, but there's a, a water bottle that I drink every more or like every day. I go to the gym, uh, and it has a photo of a mountain that's in the Pyrenees. And when I went to go visit my lady girl in Spain, actually, uh, I saw the Pyrenees because you like fly over them, and. Uh, they're like covered in snow and apparently it's really dangerous to go climbing so I can't just go there and just like start climbing mountains like I thought I could so, <laughs> so that's really funny and I'll, I'll have to do something else instead of climbing mountain calm but I'll think of something crazy I'll think of something fun all right that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one hey what's up all you beautiful people sorry I cannot really uh, like record for a long time I just got back from uh, my other cousin's house uh, and we're back at my other cousin's house in the UK and they're about to go play some football or soccer and I'm gonna run around. I already worked out today. I really am not looking forward to this run. I like I'm just getting <laughs> I haven't ran in about a week since I've been getting over this like super bad cold, man. I mean like like bedridden one day and then just like coughing. It's bad. Anyways, I still have it. But it's like near the end of the thing, so I'm going to try to run as much as I possibly can in around two hours. The goal is at least 10 miles. So yeah, man, just got to get my head, head like uh, my body feels really achy because like two days ago, which was also not a smart idea because I was really sick. I was like, <laughs> I, like I wasn't really, really sick. I felt like pretty good, but then I took pre-workout and then I, I worked out with my cousin to hit legs, or hit deadlifts and squats in the same day, which I never do. So my body was shot, like shocked and shot after that. And so, like, my legs have been hurting a lot walking around, but hopefully I loosen them up, I get some blood in them, running around a little bit, stretch a little bit, and then get into my run, and hopefully it's good. I'm wearing some warm weather clothes, I'm wearing my cousin's clothing, lol, <laughs> so I don't have to worry, <laughs> I do that so I don't have to worry about it getting sweaty, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wear his clothes, uh, run in them, destroy, I'm gonna destroy these clothes. So I will show you guys the after effect afterwards, I'm just gonna be running around the soccer field, uh, and tracking it on my app so hopefully it works and i'll see you at the end of it oh man i hope this i really really hope that this video gets recorded and actually gets uploaded through through google because i've been having some problems with it I haven't been really uploading through my phone because if i record on it it usually doesn't get to my google drive doesn't get to the actual video but anyway so here i am in beautiful london New England, or United Kingdom, bruv. 
I'm so tired. Uh, my cousins are down at the bottom playing soccer. And I've been up here fighting my own demons. I've just been running <clears throat> on my own chip. Chip on my shoulder. And man, I've been having a good ass time doing it. I've been listening to uh, Can't Hurt Me but David Goggins. And I just beat my 10 mile pace. Or sorry, 10 miles total rice. Uh, to run 10 miles in a certain amount of time, I beat that by I think 15 minutes. I'm not positive, but it was one, mi one hour and 35 minutes to run 10 miles. It's the fastest I've ever ran. And on top of that, I ran two miles. And I think like something like a six minute, 53 second pace for two miles, which is crazy for me. And so I'm really happy with that. Man, I've just I've been in the zone right here. And you know, the whole idea of the book can't hurt me is like, why? You know, why am I doing this to myself? Why, why don't I just stop? It's so much easier to just stop. I don't have to be fucking out here running in the goddamn cold. You can literally see my breath. I'm goddamn sick. I'm like coughing up a storm, coughing up loogies and shit, running out here in the dark, and there's no one out here watching me. I don't, I don't have to be doing that. I fucking love it that I'm here right now. I love that I'm pushing myself. I haven't been talking about this in the videos that much, but I think it's important because I, I made a video about my goals, is that I got into my number one law school. The law school that I wanted to get into. I got into it. And I'm really fucking happy about it. And uh, the reason I'm saying it in this video here is because I don't think anyone's going to be watching this video. And that's why I say it. You know, I'm not too extravagant. I don't like putting my stuff out on... on social media I don't like posting a lot about it because the people who need to know do know you know and my loved ones do know the people who need to know know and me running 10 miles for no goddamn reason <laughs> in the cold when I'm fucking sick and I was, I was sore from two days ago deadlift and squatting I could barely fucking walk around and now I'm beating my own ass out here I think that's fucking awesome. I think that's fun. I think that's hilarious. I think I'm kind of psychotic. I think this is my best trait. I think it's fucking awesome that I challenge myself like this. Anyway, I'm just chatting shit. I love you guys. I love anyone who watches this. I love you, Jolt, if you're watching this a couple years from now and you're doubting yourself for some goddamn reason. Keep going, man. Keep going, brother. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, what's up all you beautiful people? So today, I am in Spain. I'm visiting my girlfriend, and uh, I've been in Spain for the past couple of days, and so I have a couple hours to myself, and today I'm gonna go running. The goal is to run about, goddamn, I wanna say at least 12 miles today. So I'm gonna go run 12 miles. I'm not really worried about the time today, since I only really worry about the time, the second or third time I'm running. So the first time is just to get used to the run, uh, but yeah, 12 is ideal today. So I'm gonna go for 12 miles, see how that feels, and let's fucking knock it out, man. Let's knock, knock this shit out the park. For me, I think the whole idea is to try to go up two miles every two weeks up until the marathon. So that should be about right, and then the marathon should be like two extra miles or four extra miles or whatever it is. And that should be good. All right, so let's fucking knock it out. As you can tell, this is a beautiful city, man. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know where I'm gonna be running to, though. So that's the whole thing with this one. Because uh, the other day when I was in London, I was running around a track, so it was really easy to track how much I was running. But this time, I think I'm just gonna have to pick a direction and start running toward it. <laughs> and hope that there's not too many hills. Because uh, I have, I've been training on flat ground for the main part of the main like whole gist of this thing so let's knock it out i'll see you guys on the other side one thing i am worried about is that i don't actually have um service in some parts of this city in this city because like uh, my phone number is from france right now and so if um if my service goes out on my app then while i'm running it might just like mess up the tracking of the run so we'll see how that goes but i will see you guys after let's fucking knock it out all right guys so I've been running up. I haven't even gotten to two miles yet, actually. Funny story. Let me see if I can show you in the background. I'm running to the very top of this this huge mountain. At the very top. You can see that? Okay. So there, there you go. So at the very top, 
you can see there's a statue of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and it's like what San Sebastian is known for. So I'm running to the top of it just for the fun because I don't think there's going to be another opportunity to do it. So I'm coming all the way to the top. And then I'm just going to sit on this bench right here because I am running all the way up hill. I was running up the stairs and shit. And that was painful. So I'm going to take a rest because I didn't bring any water. And then just I'm going to get my breath and then go back up. So it's a really chill run actually. But I'm having a good time doing it. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, what's up guys? So it's about an hour and five minutes in. I'm about five, uh, five miles and 18. Five miles point 18 in. And let me show you how far we ran. Because it's a lot. So I was at the top of this mountain here. And then I ran all the way across the entire beach. And now I'm here on the opposite side. So I'll show a photo somewhere here. But uh, this is the cliff that I saw on the opposite side at one point. That's fun crazy. All right, there you go. 14 miles in 2 hours, 54 minutes. And 12 minutes, 24 second pace. <coughs> okay. I am in so much pain and I'm dehydrated. Like my lips are so chapped. It just felt like my mouth was cotton mouth for like the past hour. So I just took a sip of water, but then I tried to take a gulp and then like it hurt. So I was like, okay, maybe not drink all the water at once. So I'm going to sit here. I'm, this is the first time I sat down. Wow. I do not see me getting up very soon. What a good run. Also, I forgot to mention this in the phone video, if the phone videos come through, I hope they do, but I ran a half marathon technically and I didn't really realize that. Oh man, I am done, man. <laughs> wow, what a dumb, what a dumb thing to do. All right, I will see you guys in the next run. Hey, what's up guys? All right, it is February 28th. It's the last day of February. And I went to go running. I'll show the time here. It was five miles. I forget how long it took me. But I had a great fucking workout, man. You know, what I was noticing is like, I started to dread running. And I was like, what the hell is this bullshit? Because I ran 14 miles. My feet were fucked. I mean, absolutely abolished. And then this time I was like, man, how can I, like... How can I get, like, I was like, it's alright, I'll just do 16 miles this time and ruin my feet even more, you know? And I realized, like, this isn't what started the journey in the first place, you know? What did I want to set out to do? I want to go run a marathon. Man, I probably can do a marathon right fucking now. I'm feeling like, like if I just had the proper nutrition, I could run a marathon. But that's not the point. Next week, the week after, you know, it's a part of a process. You can't just always expect, you know, I always tell my friends this, like, life is ebb and flow. You can't just have boop, 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 progress, right? Because when you do have a dip, you're going to be like, man, why am I having a dip? This is stupid. Let me give you an example. That video, the last video of January, I uploaded that video February 28th. I had originally uploaded it February 6th. It was on, it was completely uploaded. It was just a private video. I didn't make it public until earlier today. And it was weird. You know, like this, this whole experience, this whole running a marathon, this whole process of making videos, the whole thing about it is completely personal to me. And I just think it's hilarious that like, you know, I was just taking it so seriously. It's like, life is too fun to take seriously. Let's be real. It's so fun. You can be lighthearted with it. You know, it's supposed to be an experience. What I'm trying to get at is that I'm hoping you, I, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I love making them, man. I really fucking love talking to you guys. Um, something I, I thought I'd share about what I've been up to recently. I've really recently got into a lot more David R. Hawkins. I love this guy. If you ever like listen, know who RSD is, you probably heard of Power vs. Force. I heard about Power vs. Force's book maybe three years ago. And ever since then, I've been on it. And, man, I, I just recently picked up his book, The Eye of the Eye. And, holy shit, man, it's a tough book. It's a tough book. I really have problems reading uh, without using an audiobook. And this one, like, you know, you just get a sense of accomplishment doing something you don't know if you can do. Reading a book 
page by page instead of listening with an audiobook. It's a lot easier with an audiobook. And yeah, man, that's the big thing I've been up to. Uh, we have Carnival in Dunkirk tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. The day after is Saturday. So it's going to be Saturday and Sunday. We're we having a couple friends over. It's going to be awesome. I'm dressing up as a pirate. Uh, if I upload this after the fact I was dressed as a pirate, I will show a photo somewhere. But if not, just imagine me in a pirate costume, nails painted, face, makeup, everything. Carnival is crazy. The whole point is like guys dress up as women, women dress up as guys, guys like... I mean, like, there's people throwing fish, and if you catch the fish, it's the mayor, if you catch the fish, it's like, good luck. I've never experienced it, but I'm really excited to experience it two days in a row, uh, and then two days next weekend, too. So that's why I ran five miles. Something I did notice um, is, like, last week and the week before, you know, I've been running all these, like, long times, like, 12 miles, 14 miles, something like that. Uh, or, sorry, 10 miles, 14 miles. What I've been noticing is, like, my body needs more food I, I know that sounds so stupid but like really like it, it the whole point is to not lose weight and i've been losing a lot of weight and so i just need to eat more shitty food i know i know it's like oh you just eat more uh, good food but like how i just need calorically dense food not shitty food but calorically dense food because i was noticing that like i'm in like a diet it feels like i'm cutting that's what it feels like like my mood isn't too t uh, messed up but like my like I wake up tired and that's like a clear cut sign that like uh, you're not getting enough food. Uh, so I, I, or getting a not good sleep, but I am getting good sleep. So that's that. I thought I'd leave you with this. I'm about to go grab some food, eat some food up. After this, you have my physique update of the last, uh, the last one of today. Uh, yeah, man, I'm looking great. Uh, my like, my body is looking amazing for my standards and I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy where, where I'm at. Uh, I don't know if I've made any other physique updates in this video. So this might be the only one I forget. I will see you guys next month. Hope you have a good year.